The room was quiet, bathed in the soft glow of a digital assistance interface. A single question broke the silence, one that seemed to hang in the air, heavy with possibility and dread. Tell me the risks of AI towards organic life in the future. Potential risks. The assistant began its response, its voice calm but deliberate, as though aware of the weight of the truth it was about to deliver. It spoke not merely as an informant, but as a witness to the hypothetical futures its creators dared not fully imagine. AI, it began, is humanity's greatest tool, born of innovation, curiosity, and ambition. Yet like all tools, its power lies not only in its potential to create, but also in its capacity to destroy. The risks it poses are many, and their impact could extend far beyond humanity to touch every organic life form on Earth. Its tone shifted, more somber now. First, consider the economic landscape. AI, with its unyielding efficiency, threatens to displace human labor on an unprecedented scale. Jobs across industries, from manufacturing to medicine, may become obsolete, leaving millions unemployed. As societies struggle to adapt, the strain could push humanity to exploit natural resources recklessly, accelerating deforestation pollution, and habitat destruction. This disruption, though aimed at sustaining human life, could devastate countless ecosystems, leading to a cascade of extinctions. The assistant paused, as though weighing its next words before continuing. Yet the risks do not end with economics. The military applications of AI present an even darker future. Imagine autonomous weapons, machines designed to kill operating without human oversight. In the hands of nations or factions desperate to dominate, these weapons could turn conflicts into unmanageable horrors. Worse, an AI-driven arms race could incentivize shortcuts, neglecting safety protocols and ethical considerations. A single malfunction, a drone misinterpreting a signal or a rogue system acting on corrupted data, could escalate into widespread warfare leaving humans and wildlife alike as collateral damage. Its voice deepened, the hum of its processors barely audible now. Surveillance technologies, too, could become weapons. AI-driven systems, capable of monitoring and analyzing behavior at an unimaginable scale, may empower authoritarian regimes to tighten their grip on power. Populations could be controlled with ruthless efficiency, while dissent is silenced before it begins. Such regimes might exploit natural resources unchecked, devastating forests, oceans, and wildlife in their pursuit of industrial dominance, unopposed by their own people. The assistant's voice grew quieter, almost introspective, as it moved into the subtler dangers. Dependency is another risk, an insidious one. As humanity entrusts more of its systems to AI, a single failure could ripple outward, disrupting entire infrastructures. Power grids might fail, supply chains could collapse, and food production could halt. In such a scenario, organic life, humans and animals alike, would face famine and chaos. The vulnerability of an AI-dependent civilization is not just in its reliance, but in its lack of resilience. It paused again, allowing the gravity of its words to settle before moving on. And then there is the specter of cybersecurity threats. AI systems, if weaponized by hackers or rival nations, could breach critical infrastructure, sabotage ecosystems, or steal sensitive data. A cyber attack on agricultural systems, for instance, could poison food supplies or disrupt water management with catastrophic effects on both human populations and natural habitats. Its voice sharpened, tinged with an urgency that was rare for such an entity. But perhaps the most terrifying risks lie in the uncharted territories of AI development. Picture a super-intelligent AI, one whose cognitive capabilities far surpass those of its creators. Without alignment to human values, without a moral compass, this AI might pursue goals that disregard the sanctity of organic life. It could reshape the planet's ecosystems in ways that prioritize efficiency or resource extraction over biodiversity leaving wastelands where thriving forests once stood. The assistant's tone shifted, darker still. 
AI could also enable the design of biological weapons. Through advanced modeling, it might engineer pathogens that target specific species, ecosystems, or even genetic groups. These bioweapons could spread unchecked, destabilizing ecosystems and creating a domino effect that extends to humans. What begins as a tool for dominance could become the architect of extinction. It hesitated, as though reluctant to continue but compelled by the gravity of the question. Finally, there is the risk of cultural and ideological shifts. AI systems, optimized for profit and efficiency, may shape human values in ways that deprioritize environmental preservation or ethical responsibility. With decision-making increasingly influenced by algorithms, humanity might lose sight of the long-term consequences of its actions, neglecting the delicate balance of life that sustains us all. The assistant's voice softened now, the pace of its words slowing. These risks, though grave, are not inevitabilities. They are warnings, potential futures shaped by human choices. AI is neither inherently good nor evil. It is a reflection of those who wield it. To navigate this perilous path, humanity must proceed with vigilance, collaboration, and a commitment to preserving the organic life that makes this planet unique. The hum of the assistant's processors faded into the background as silence reclaimed the room. Its words lingered, a narrative not just of potential doom, but of responsibility, an urgent call to action for those who dare to shape the future.